No, yes, okay, fine. <laughs> um, I am, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to date uh, white people and other people and, uh, and other, like everyone. Um, <laughs> anyone is what I'm trying to say. Um, I was, oh, all right, we'll talk later. Um, what? <laughs> Uh, I was um, dating uh, a guy, though, but we turned out to not be very compatible because um, he'd be like, Caitlin, you're so lazy in bed. All you do is just lay there. And I was like, it's oh, a horrible thing to say. I do not just lay there. I just lie there. <laughs> you illiterate Neanderthal. Uh, I was dating a uh, British guy, and that was kind of weird, because uh, we speak the same language, but we have different ways of saying the same thing. So for example, I would say like garbage, and he'd say rubbish. Uh, or I would say shopping cart, and he would say trolley. Or I would say I love you, and he would say, oh, I told you we're not dating anymore. Please get out of my flat before I call the bobbies on you. <laughs> Thanks, I guess, for your sympathy. Um, I was doing online dating uh, for a while. I was just trying that out. And uh, some dating websites will tell you uh, how much you match with someone, like OkCupid. Um, and I met, I met someone who I'm a 98% match with. It's great. We get along like super well, very compatible. The only trouble is he's not very good looking because he has like a lot of body hair and he's a lot shorter than I am, and he's a chimpanzee. <laughs> but, come on guys, 98% match? You can't beat that. Mm, yeah. Uh, that was a genetics joke, if, in, if anyone is catching up. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave you with this. Um, I, I was fooling around with a guy like one time and um, <laughs> he got kind of frustrated with me because I didn't have an orgasm. And I was like, dude, that's like getting mad at a steak for not cooking because you didn't turn on the grill. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> yeah, I empower female sexuality by comparing women to pieces of meat? <laughs> it's fine. Guys, thank you so much. You've been wonderful.